Imagine stepping onto a stage where every eye is on you, not just for the game you play, but for the statement you make. Natalie Gulbis did more than just hit golf balls. She struck a chord in the heart of tradition within the women's golf world. With her fashion-forward choices, embracing tighter and more stylish outfits, she didn't just challenge the norms of golf attire, she completely shattered them without caring to look back. This wasn't just about clothes, it was about having an identity, freedom, and the courage to stand out. Stay with us as we dive into the story of Natalie Gulbis, the woman who dared to redefine what it means to be a female golfer and breaking norms, even when she faced a storm of criticism to pave a new path in style and substance. Join us as we uncover the story of resilience, controversy, and the undeniable impact of one woman's choice to be unapologetically herself on the green. Welcome back to the Golf Caddy, the place where we dish out the latest and greatest from the golf world, all from the eyes of a former caddy. Today we're turning the spotlight on Natalie Gulbis, a name that echoes far beyond the fairways for her bold moves in fashion and fearless individualism. She's not just a golfer, she's a pioneer who dared to blend style with sport, inviting both admiration and controversy. In this special feature, we'll peel back the layers of Natalie's journey, revealing the challenges and triumphs of a woman who redefined the aesthetics of women's golf. From her signature fashion choices to the backlash and debates they sparked, join us as we explore the remarkable path of a golfer who brought glamour to the greens and showed the world that being true to yourself is the ultimate form of victory. But before letting you in on all the tea, we want to know what do you think about Natalie Gulbis's impact on women's golf, especially with her unique approach to fashion on the course? Did her style choices truly pave the way for future generations, or do you believe they overshadowed her skills as a golfer? How do you view the balance between personal expression and traditional norms in sports? Let's get the conversation going and dive deeper into the legacy of Natalie Gulbis. Don't forget to comment below, we'll be reading along. Hi, I'm Natalie Gulbis and join me for a few holes here at Aviar for this week's LPGA event. Born January 7, 1983 in California, Natalie wasn't a player who would feel content with just being a phenomenal golfer. The girl had been out there wanting to make a statement. With her vibrant personality and keen sense of style, she challenged the norms of golf attire, introducing a flair of fashion to the fairways that had never been seen before. Gulbis started playing golf at the age of four and credits her father John Gulbis as the individual most influencing her career. When she was in high school, Galvis played on the boys' golf team because there was no girls' team at her school. She also craved a more competitive environment, and the boys' team provided that for her. So basically, the young lady was a rebel from the very start. She's one of those people who wanted to make her mark, and she did, in one of the most unexpected ways. Natalie's choice to don tighter, more fashionable outfits wasn't just about looking good. It was a bold statement on individuality and breaking free from the conventional. Natalie Galvis became the pioneer in women's golf who dared to stand out and, in doing so, paved the way for future female golfers to be themselves on the field. Galvis did some things when it came to marketing and advertising that many golfers disagreed with. The pretty lady managed to turn heads out there not just with her swings but with her daring fashion choices. Black shirt, white shoes, black hat, waterproof trousers, let's face it, the 22-year-old professional is not always dressed for golf. She chose to swap the traditional for trendy, embracing tighter outfits and bringing a dash of runway flair to the fairway while putting her name into the spotlight a lot. We kid you not. Type Galbus's name into Google and it throws up numerous photographs of her dressed in outfits that might not be so suitable for a day on the links. There is Natalie in a white bikini, Natalie in a striped bikini, Natalie in a black bikini, and Natalie in a white micro skirt. There is also Natalie in various poses on the website of FHM Magazine, and finally, most famously, there's the 2005 Natalie Galbus calendar with 12 portraits of Natalie, legs oiled, hair teased, and lips pouted. Don't you think she went a little too far? Or was she just ahead of her time? What do you think about these challenging traditional dress codes in sports? Let us know in the comments below. But being herself wasn't the easiest thing to do for her. Natalie Galbus faced significant backlash and scrutiny throughout her career, particularly due to her appearances in the 2012 Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, wearing only body paint, which marked a bold move away from traditional golf attire. When I learned that she was going to be photographing me, I was very excited and also very nervous, but excited because I had seen her I thought the process would take a couple hours. I thought that there would be a design and they would just paint me like almost like they were doing a just an incredible experience. I can't believe how much work and detail goes into this body paint.
She was considered to be a sex symbol in the LPGA when she released the 2005 calendar, just before the 2004 U.S. Women's Open, which featured her not only playing golf, but also striking poses and swimwear. The United States Golf Association, USGA, barred it from being sold at the event, deeming it was inappropriate. The calendar was, however, sold openly at Golf Canada, and the USGA was criticized for overreacting. Golbus also posed for the November 2004 issue of the magazine FHM, an issue that also gave away a chance to play golf with her at her home course, the Lake Las Vegas Resort, where her calendar photo shoot took place. Galvis has said that she likes the attention she gets, even if she's getting it for her appearance, as it won her amazing endorsement deals with McGladry LLP, TaylorMade Adidas, Canon, Michelob Ultra, Sky Caddy, Payment Data Systems, MasterCard, Win Golf Grips, Lake Las Vegas Resort, Pure Silk, Lexus, and EA Sports. Talk about not giving a damn. After years of playing on the LPGA Tour, Natalie Galvis decided to retire in 2020. Although she is still very much involved in the world of golf, she is no longer an active player on the LPGA Tour, and there are several reasons behind this. Overall, she had decided to make this decision because her body is not capable of what it once was from a golf perspective. In addition, she has acknowledged the fact that the game has changed and the girls who play today are better than they have ever been. Her advertising, her marketing, and her promotions are how she earned a living. The money she earned on the LPGA Tour was just a small portion of her overall net worth. Many people started to say that her business interests and modeling were keeping her from playing well. Natalie admits to the fact that her ways of breaking stereotypes did potentially have some impact on her career. It wasn't enough for her to say she would change that if she could do it again. Galba still plans to try and encourage and promote the game for those who are interested in getting better, and we can't wait to see what's up for her next. Her shot, three wood off the fairway yeah. are the shots that I get asked about the most. So I have two really quick tips. All right. Ball position and grip down. De loft, de -loft it and they it. Yeah. top it. Can't get it off the ground. And right? the same thing when you're up too far, you just you need to hit it a little bit more solid and get grip down a little bit. And now just take a good swing. And there you have it, the tale of Natalie Gulbis, a golfer who wasn't just playing the game, but also changing it one outfit at a time. Natalie's story isn't just about golf or fashion. It's about courage, the courage to be yourself in a world that often expects conformity. She showed us that being true to yourself is worth every bit of scrutiny and controversy it might stir up. This has always been a big part of my life. I was a gymnast and a golfer growing up, and when I quit doing gymnastics, I needed something else to burn my energy. Oh, but it's that was one of good. those exercises that every that golfer good. can do, and um, <sighs> you see him doing it all the time. What do you think? Did Natalie change the game for the better, or was all the buzz just about the clothes? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And hey, if you've got a story about breaking norms and living your truth, we're all ears. Share your experiences, and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more stories of incredible people doing incredible things. See you in the next video.